All right, so we're going to just go through a quick demo of Kubernetes and pure storage. So real quick, I'm going to edit the staple set. And we're going to change the size of the volumes. We'll zoom in here for a second. Just got to find the right place. All right. And hey, it's set to 100, but you know, hey, let's make sure we edit it so, so we can see something different. to 150 yep looks good save and close that and we're going to create it from that file and boom so we've created several things a couple services and a set of pods see that the volumes have all been created and attached you see there's a host there in the column so that's been mounted up to a host automatically by the flex volume plugin zoom in here and see so we're gonna get their pause we can see we got cockroach DB zero one and two three replicas like the staple set said to do and We'll actually create this init file, which actually tells the, it's a job, and it actually tells the cluster to join, basically talk to each other. See that it succeeded. Now we're going to create just a service for my own benefit to be able to attach to the GUI that's included in Cockroach database and we're going to real quickly just drop in some code create the database and some users inside of the, our new database cluster do a get service what we're going to do is we're going to actually get the port number which is automatically assigned by Kubernetes so don't try to use the same port as me yours will probably be different and we should be able to drop that port number in and see hey there's my cluster it's all nice and healthy there's really nothing going on but we can see all three replicas are up for the last three minutes so we're good there and we're gonna fail a pod now what we're gonna see here is we killed it so we actually deleted it and in a second see hey look there's a suspect pod hey something disappeared um, and that one node has died a new one is already deploying as we see we can actually look at our kube control get pod hey you can see it to tell by that one of them is only run for a few seconds while the other ones run for several minutes see right there a few seconds And now we're going to run a job. It's basically execute some code that I created that will insert uh, account numbers and balances into our bank database. Very scientific. It randomly generates the account number and and the amount for the balance. And we're going to run it a thousand times and tell it it can run up to a hundred at a time. So we're going to say go, and now you're going to see a ton of this little Go app running. And hey, look, let's just pretend, but maybe we need more database nodes because now we only have three. Uh, what's great about Kubernetes, we can actually tell it to scale. Now there's ways to do this automatically, but we're kind of just doing it manually so you can see the full output of what's going on. A little bit of I.O. started right there. Um, not much, but we'll, we'll pretend it's more, right? That we definitely need to spread out our load, scale out, so to speak. And we'll drop in. So we're going to tell it, hey, scale this cockroach DB to eight replicas. And uh, as we watch, we'll see 
that. It just takes a few seconds, but one of these nodes will start to spin up and so we've got zero, one, two, and three. So the fourth node is container creating, as you can see that under the status. Uh, it might take a second, but all, all the time I was switching screens, you can see that that fourth node has come up. And if we're patient enough, we will be able to see more nodes come into the cluster. Each one being a pod that runs the container of that specific version of CockroachDB. So now we've, we're up to seven. And as we're kind of waiting, I spun, sped it up some because you don't want to wait. It takes a, took a couple minutes actually. Be 100% honest and transparent. But now we're done. Now we have our eighth node. And we'll redo the output. Let's get our job. We can see, hey, it's run 490 sometimes, and it didn't really stop. So I'd like to find out more about using the Kubernetes plugin with Pure Storage. Please visit my blog www.2vcps.io Thank you very much.